Um, last but not least, in the Ask Our Intern series, I'm also now going to put the spotlight on Applied, uh, Applied Materials intern Chua Kai Xun. Now, Applied Materials is a leader in materials engineering solutions. So the R&D centers in Singapore are pretty incredible, and they actually um, advance key materials engineering innovation for their global businesses. So Kai Xun is a mechanical engineering student from NUS who is currently undergoing a nine-month internship with Applied Materials. And uh, let's chat with her to find out a little bit more about her and also the unique internship experience and the duration also. Kai Xuan, can you please share with us first um, about your unusually long internship? Usually it's like not more than half a year, but you're doing like nine months. Yeah. Hi, Kimberly. Okay, so thank you for the introduction. And you're actually right about the unusually long internship period. So <laughs> if you're, you're not wrong about how most internships are about three to six months long, but my internship is actually 12 months long and I'll only be ending in April 2022. So this is actually a special arrangement between NUS and Applied Materials under the NUS co-op program, where a student can actually uh, intern at Applied every summer from year one to year four, and wow. also do their final year project with Applied. Yeah. So for me, I stacked everything back to back. So that's that explains the 12 month period. Yeah, but wow. I think the we, that there is merit uh, in for interning for that long because you really get to follow through with your projects. And also, I think um, since most of the audience here are students, it's very important to look out for such opportunities within your own schools if possible. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's like super rare. I mean, I would have liked the opportunity to do uh, my internship, completely different industry, but like to do it for a year because you really feel assimilated into your workplace. Like you said, you follow through with your projects and instead of having like a short, like, you know, spurt, um, you feel like you really become one, you know, with like where you are at and you are part of the job as well. So um, unusually long, I would say, but I think that's a great opportunity. So I'm very happy for you. Okay, so what actually um, attracted you to apply for an internship at applied materials because there are so many, you know, um, different companies out there. And what are some of the skill sets and know-hows from school that have come in handy for your internship? Okay, so why I applied for this internship I applied is mainly because of this co-op program, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so this is actually a rotational program where you get to go to different departments, be it uh, manufacturing, operations, or even R&D. But personally for me, I stayed in one department because of COVID. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <right. laughs> yes, and also the second one would be that um, applied materials is a very strong hold when it comes to semiconductor equipment manufacturing. And as a mechanical engineer, I really wanted to have an insight of how uh, manufacturing is in Singapore. Yeah. So initially, I wasn't too sure of what um, industrial manufacturing is like, but after coming to apply, I managed to get an insight into this um, world of manufacturing. And in terms of skill sets, like you mentioned, um, uh, for me, I think what helped me a lot uh, in my job on daily basis would be engineering concepts such as maybe kinetics, structures, beams, statics. So these are very theoretical concepts that we learn in school that I personally didn't think that I would ever apply in a job, but uh, my internship has shown me otherwise. Yeah. Um, that's actually very interesting. I think we are all surprised by, you know, the skills that we have learned that uh, we never knew would come in, um, you know, handy sometimes. Okay, I think this is another very important point, um, especially for people who are entering, like, you know, a company for the first time. What is the company culture like at Applied Materials? Like, what do you enjoy most about, you know, working for this company? Or is there also something that you feel like, you know, maybe could be better even? I don't know. Hmm, okay, okay. So on the company culture, if I really had to summarize the entire company culture into two words, it would mainly be fun and engaging. Yeah. Okay. So, so fun, in terms of fun, uh, this year, or uh, more like 2021, uh, sorry, 2021. <laughs> um, in 2021, uh, AMSIA, which is Applied Material Southeast Asia, we had our 30th anniversary. So this was actually a very huge event across the entire company. And mm -hmm despite COVID, so despite COVID and we couldn't have all these activities in real life, um, the celebratory um, fear, um, the celebratory mood was actually there where uh, even though it was held online, I was able to feel the appreciation and the joy that employees have for the company and also the welfare and care that the company has for its people. 
Yeah, so there were a lot of games, prizes, and a lot of events that were held throughout the year, which I found really fun. Yeah, but in terms of what I enjoy the most about working for the company, it will be the engagement part. Yeah, so personally, I'm handling a lot of projects when it comes to um, automation and also optimization of testing. So I find that my work is very interesting and I'm able to apply all my engineering knowledge into my decision-making processes, yeah. Wow, I think that's like super, super cool. I think one of the most um, sad things that you can hear if someone says that, you know, oh, my job is so easy. I, I just, you know, do a few things already. I just sit there because I think like boredom is one of those things that you don't realize how painful it is until you you are part of it. So sometimes you go to a very big company and you realize, that, oh, this, they don't let the interns do a lot. So hearing that you're handling a lot of like projects and, you know, you are always engaged. Um, I think that's a brilliant um, a place to go for a learning opportunity as well. Okay, um, obviously as an intern, you know, sometimes you enter, you don't have much experience or maybe you are unsure, you don't know the know-hows behind how to operate certain things or, you know, how certain things work at the company. Is there training and development as part of the opportunities for interns? Uh, yes, definitely. So training and development is definitely offered for an intern. So on my onboarding process, we actually go through this um online courses which is called applied global university or in short agu so in agu we actually get to learn about the semiconductor industry as a whole and also get to learn about certain practices or best known methods in the industry and personally uh, aside from the agu online courses that i attended um, my boss also uh, sent me for excel macro vba courses um, and also a leak detector course so these actually help to aid me in my projects and also helps in idea generation when it comes to automation projects and things like that. But um, as an intern, I am already offered that much. But when it comes to full-time employee um, training and development, I think um, June from HR can outline this better in the chat box where she can show and tell you all more about how um, and what opportunities uh, the full-timers receive in terms of training and development. I think that already sounds like a lot. So I can only imagine how much more if you are, you know, part of the company full time. Uh, once again, if you do have questions, by the way, you can ask it, you know, in the chat box on the side. Uh, also, uh, what are the challenges that you have faced during your internship and how do you kind of just like, you know, keep yourself going? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so challenges, um, we face many challenges on the go every day, but I think my biggest challenge definitely would be the technical topics that I am not necessarily well versed in. So as a mechanical engineer, I personally am used to be very fearful of um, electrical circuitry and stuff that has to do with electricity in general. Yeah, right. but in one of my projects, I had to deal with a lot of circuitry and initially it was very daunting and it was a very steep learning curve. But then after a while, I realized that, hey, it wasn't as steep as I had thought of it to be because more, most importantly, I was surrounded with um, very kind colleagues and teammates who had the expertise in these areas to help me along the way. So it really goes back to the people and culture of applied where people are always willing to help and render you help when you're in need. And also it shows that the company has a lot of diverse individuals with a lot of expertise. And somehow, somewhat, you always find somebody who has the right knowledge that you need. Yeah. Well, I think, I think that's very helpful. Somehow you always find someone who has the right knowledge that you need. Um, that's a good place to be at because you know that, you know, there's always somebody that you can count on as well. Okay, um, obviously it sounds like, you know, you're enjoying and also learning a lot from your internship, which I'm very happy for you for. What are some of your key takeaways um, for, for, from your internship? And what is like a word of advice you would have, you know, for anyone who is considering a career in the semiconductor and electronics industry? Okay, so my key learnings and takeaways from the internship are mainly two. So firstly is that boundaries are set by nobody but yourself. And the mm -hmm. second one would be um, continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. Yeah, so first point on boundaries are set by nobody by yourself. So initially, I was only handed one project on automation. But then mm -hmm. after looking at that project again and again, you start to see the small little things and details that could be potentially worked on. And mm -hmm. if you push hard enough for it to your boss, to your teammates, then they will see the impact that this is your ideas can make. And as long as you're able to make a difference, then more or less your new project idea will go through. So this is how I expanded from one project into several other projects. Yeah. So it really goes to show that, but there are no boundaries when it comes to projects and ideas in applying. Yeah. 
And also the second point on continuous improvement. So personally, I'm working on a lot of continuous improvement projects, which is basically to make processes better. And I had an issue with um, always putting out um, somewhat I thought the most perfect version of what I think the product should be. But then after I learned and went through a lot of things, I realized that there are always just unforeseen e uh, events that will happen and we have to learn how to improve, improvise continuously. Yeah, so it's better to put out something better than nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. actually it's true because you, we always feel, you know, like intimidated by putting up something that you kind of know is not exactly good enough. But as long as there's like a little bit of improvement, I think like taking a step a day is more important than like trying to run the entire race, you know, for like the last hour because you're just going to be like exhausted. So um, great learning points. I think you also, you know, our girl, you know, with a good head on your shoulders. Uh, finally, what is something you want to tell, you know, your peers if they're considering, you know, a career in the semiconductor and electronics industry? Like, what do you want to say to them? Go for it. <laughs> so um, the semiconductor industry, um, as mentioned by a few speakers earlier, it might seem a bit cyclical, but it's not... Um, there are a lot of skills that you can pick up on the go when you're in this industry. And mm -hmm. there's just so many learning opportunities. And these things, that skills that you pick up, you can always employ them anywhere else. So they're very, very universal. And also, there's a lot of room for growth in this industry, especially when you see that it is expanding in Singapore. So this is opportunity and it is good for both the individual, the uh, industry and all abroad. Yeah. Mm, thank you so much. By the way, I thought like, you know, your sharing was like really, really awesome. Kaishen, wishing you all the best. I know you said that you have a 12-month internship. So now you're only at the ninth month. That means three more months to go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you can push for, you know, more ideas, more change and uh, more innovation as well. Because, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter whether or not you're an intern or a full-time staff because ideas come from people and people are all the same, right? Alrighty, thank you so much for chatting with us, Kashin. Thank you for having me.